What up my dudes, welcome to Rocket League Attention to Detail. So this is just going to be a series thing looking at the slight, slight details that Psyonix has put into Rocket League. And um, I th let, let's just get straight into it. So the first, the first one is mainly on uh, DFH Stadium and Manfield where I'll start it up and let's see when we get into the game. Oh, that was quick. So, if you... Oh my gosh. So, primarily, if you... Where is it? If you look up here, there's all these different flags for a lot of different nations where the game was released. And... Ooh. So... How many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. A lot. A lot of flags. Um, and they continue around. Um, let's see, do they go any higher? No. Um, and yeah, I just think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's also on Manfield, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, and so here. Here they are on Manfield, where I believe there's more, but I don't know, I'll probably double check on that, but it's just, it's just a tiny, tiny detail that you don't really notice in game, but it just puts such a cool effect on it, like it's a real match, if that makes sense. So, yeah, let's go get on to the next one. Okay, so... I believe this map's called Urban Central? Yeah, I think so. But, if you might not have noticed, in every corner, it has this um, statue of the Rocket League logo. But, there's one slight difference. It's, we all know it's the Octane. But, if you notice on the actual logo, it doesn't have the spoiler on it. Whereas, in the statue, it does. So, ooh. Let's just get now. So, yeah, this map doesn't have flags, but it does have four statues, which usually the maps only have two in the middle if they do have them at all. Um, so there's a couple of maps with it. I'll just show you that in a minute. So, yeah, let's let's go to the other maps that have it. Okay, so we're back on DFH Stadium, and. Um, you probably didn't notice that, well, probably, oh, that there's the, um, the statue over here. I mean, nothing to do with gameplay at all, but now I'm looking at it, there seem to be reflections of, like, tiny, tiny bits of light, which is actually really cool. Or, is it the boost? I, I, I'm not really sure what it is, but, yeah, um... I believe there may be another map that this is on, but I'll just see it in a minute. So, here this is. Okay, so I think this is Utopia or something, where, oh, you can probably tell I'm a bit sick, but, um, where if you look at that, that is an amazing slight, like, they don't need to put this in, but the attention to detail in this game, they've got the two, um, statues and the ball but it's so interactive with the water I mean it's just so so nice to see developers that actually seem to care about that game um, but yeah I mean this doesn't have any flags was over at this side another oh this does have a lot of hmm. um, but yeah there's a lot of water everywhere <laughs> Um, I think there may be one more map, but I'll see you in a sec. Well, I was just recording and my mic cut off, so this is great. Um, so I don't really know where I was, but, um, so there aren't any, what's it called, uh, statues on this map. But there is just, as soon as you drive over the snow, it just gets pushed out the way by your car. And 
that that I just think is so nice to see how uh, put in this detail. And each track follows your wheel exactly, which is just so so nice and whatever. Um, so this is only for the snowy maps, obviously, but um, yeah. And then looking at it, they've got every single blade of grass that you could ever need. And this is this is a car game. It's it's not not like FIFA or something where people actually would care so much about the slight details. And it. It's not by a major company like EA or whatever, but it's just so nice to see that a company cares about their game so much so that they will put so much effort into the tiny, tiniest details. Um, and I think that's about it. Okay, and one last thing you may not have noticed is... Um, we're back on Urban Central, and you might have seen that, but in the middle, between, if you, if you can see the waterfalls, I'll just go towards it, there is a clock, uh, like the ones above the goals, but it's just so, you, d you don't really see it in game, but yeah, it's just there, and um, I wonder what happens if you score. Actually, let's see. Is it? Um, it doesn't seem to change like the other ones. Um, let's just see once more. Okay, that should go in slowly. Um, where is it? There it is. Is that moving? I really can't tell, but um, yeah, I think that's that's it. Um, I don't know when this is going up. I don't know what channel it's going up. I've not even named the channel yet, but yeah. Oh well, um, I'll edit this and then probably create the channel. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you actually stayed till the end. Please leave a like. It actually shows me that someone actually watched it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll probably make another one soon when I I've got a couple more things. But but yeah, um, not that much for a whole video. On, so I'll be back in a bit.